episode, we are going to create this functionality that when we click on this launch model and then model appear in front of us. So with that, I'm your host Sarthak and this is a channel where I talk about view and the cool thing about view. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So let's see how we can do that. So the first thing I told you that we want the click event of this launch model so that means we have to firstly include the click event of this button so here i will say click on click i will say launch because i have to launch the model and that method we have to create so method is here and that method means launch not launch launch okay and here actually what's happening here see when we click on this model, I want something to happen in the component. That means modal component. So this means there is an interaction between two components. One is the BTN component. Second is the modal component. So for that, we have to firstly emit some event. We know that emit event emitting in the last episode we have seen that so we have to emit event so let's see how we can emit so dollar sorry this dot dollar emit now i have to say button is clicked i will say this event is emitted so let's go here refresh and open view tab when i click on the launch model you can see one event is emitted so that's okay okay so but what happened with this so when we have this event so i will say when we have button clicked event then i will say launch again but i will say launch model okay so whenever i will find this button clicked event emitted out i want to do something which is inside this launch model function so let's create that launch model function inside our root view so here it is and i will say launch model method and let's first console dot log something so that we can verify is that working or not so hit here and yes we can see we have something asdf on the console that means this is working we are grabbing the event of this launch model okay but i don't want to do this i want to change this something so i want to give here is active class so how will we give that class now comes the props so you know in this episode we are using props and events two things so here we have to firstly bind class not click class to an active prop so let's create a prop so props and that will be active okay so i have created a prop that means property and i have connected that property to class but on the model i have to say prop that means active prop is now get data from uh, activate model variable so let's got that variable and define it here so data and this and this is empty for now so firstly this model will get this props value from this activate model and now is it's empty and when we get something is activate here then this prop will get is activate from outside world and give that value here on the class so it will bind the class so now what we have to do when we click on this launch model we have to give this dot activate model value of is active okay so is active we have given so go back refresh and i think there's some problem line 45 46 47 yeah i have missed out this comma here refresh 
and yes so let's click on the launch model and yes our model is here but why it's not going out oh that means I have to create something to dismiss this model so let's grab this cross button so we have this cross button yeah delete button is here so again when we click on this you know what I said click so that means I have to give a click event here also so I will say close model okay so I will create a new method here and here close model but again this method will not do anything until we emit event to external world so let this dot emit and now close underscore model okay so now when we click on this cross button I will emit this close model event to external world so then whenever we get that close model event so I will say at close underscore model event whenever we find close model so I will call a new uh, function or the method that call simply close so now we have to create a new method here which will be like close simply and comma and this time what we want to do we want to give this activate model as null so this dot activate model value of nothing okay go back refresh and launch model that's okay dismiss model that's okay so you can see there's no error and launch dismiss launch dismiss I like this <laughs> okay so you can do this same thing with this cancel button also but uh, I will leave this for you and you will do that so we will meet in the next episode and as I told you in the last episode please support me on the patreon on Facebook on YouTube on sharing with your friends and your help will give me the power to help you again okay so i like it <laughs> okay so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye